Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a quick video here about um, the kind of bits and stuff I use making circle boards. So let's get started. So, I use V-bits for making circle boards, but you can use end mills, I think. I haven't actually played with end mills before, but I don't think... Well, I mean, like, the other mill, which is a no, kind of CNC machine pretty much just made for making circle boards, it does do other things, but they use end mills. But I don't see how you'd have, like, a 0.1mm tipped end mill. Maybe you do, but I don't know. But I use uh, B bits, so I use a 0.1 millimeter on the tip, and have a 30 degree kind of chamfer angle, whatever you want to call it, on the tip. So these work pretty good for making circuit boards. So I use those. In terms of copper clad, which I use, this is FR4, which is fiberglass of copper on the top, which of course does eventually wear your tips down. So instead of being a nice, you know, kind of tight angle, you know, triangle, it comes more of like a I don't know, like rounded over edge, and thus it doesn't really do much. So you have to apply some every kind of five or six circle boards, depending how big your boards are, of course. So I, I tend to buy them in packs of tens, so I always have lots of them. But um, so that's what I use for kind of engraving them, and then for drilling them, I use um this brand of um kind of drill bits from AliExpress. So this is X Can. I don't know what they really are, but if you Google up X can on um, Ally Express, you find a whole range of them. So X can, so this is 0.5mm. So these are pretty nice, fine drill bits, drill bits if you look at them. Looks really nice, and they've got, you know, brown rings on them. And these ones are 1mm, which I find are pretty useful. And also, I've got these ones, which is a bit confusing, they've got the same kind of colour rings, but these are 0.9mm. So I find that having. 0.9 1mm and also 0.5mm drill bits kind of covers all in, you know, edges of making circle boards because some drills, might, or, you know, some pads or, I don't know, some packages might need 0.9mm, some might need 0.5, some need 1 or whatever. It's all a bit of a, you know, if you're bitty or let's say, I don't know, you could be inserting a wire in and, you know, as 1mm instead of 0.9, it won't fit, or you could put a header pin in or something like that. So, this is my kind of bits I use. They're all XCAM branded, which I personally um, say are pretty good, and the stuff on there are really good as well. So, and also, I, I live in New Zealand, but um, it's quite a terrible accent. <laughs> um, it takes, I think it's a week and a half to turn up from China, so really pretty speedy delivery, unlike most packages from China, so... X can's the way to go if you're going to buy these kind of drill bits, and um, no, I'm not getting endorsed for saying that, it's literally just my own um, playing around with these bits has led to saying that these are great bits. I did play with some drill pro, drill pro is some bang good, I think you can also get them out like Express, but these ones are not as good, they're a bit, a bit cheap, and they look exactly the same, but I mean, the quality on them is not the same, so... Don't, don't go um, buying bang good ones. They have this weird feature as well, like, like this comes off. But um, yeah, 0 0.1 millimeter, well, one millimeter ones and bang good are just useless. So don't bother playing with those and just go and spend your money on some X cam ones. And these are a buck ninety nine each, I think, US. So pretty damn cheap for ten bits, and they're you know good quality. I've only broken one or two of these ones, and that was actually my own fault because um. Just like anything, they have their limits, and if you push, you know, them too high in terms of speed and, you know, RPM order, they do snap, so you have to be mindful. And I found about 5,000 RPM or something works quite okay, but if you go over, like, 10,000 RPM, it kind of breaks them and whatnot when it, you know, touches the circle board. But, yep, so about 5,000 RPM works fine with these drill bits. You know, it's all a bit of an experimentation, really, because the CNC machine I use is a prosumer one, but, I mean, making circle boards is not exactly its, um intended purpose but um i mean with anything it's just a matter of uh, having a play and seeing what you can get working and um that's the bits i use and i'll put links in the description for the ones um that i use so yeah